This is a good opportunity to jump over to uh, our next segment. Yeah, I guess oh, you're yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Here we go. Oh, man, what a world we live in. Oh, boy. Two fat professors, what, they, they had to say that, are afraid of COVID-19 causing fat phobia. All right, first of all, let me just show you this from the CDC website. Groups at higher risk for severe, severe illness. And you can see people with severe obesity, body mass index BMI of 40 or higher. Well, 40 or higher. Oh, that's really severe. It is. That's it's severe. Big. Yeah, it's okay. big. And so this is people who are at risk for COVID. So right now, my we, we were talking about this and, and we were like, somebody's got to do a video on this yeah. and just call out these body positivity obese people who have like, they've, they've encouraged this bad behavior, which is now getting people sick and hurt. So here we have this story from April 5th. Campus Reform says, here, well, here's a picture, I guess. Two University of Wisconsin lacrosse professors who call themselves the two fat professors. Oh, that's literally that's what, they what they call, call themselves. themselves. There you oh. go. Yeah, so. Are concerned that coronavirus is causing fat phobia. Darcy Thune, author of Am I Fat? It, well, you are. <laughs> in the International Fat Studies Handbook. What? <laughs> oh, there's recently, fat studies. I re- forgot. Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Recently published a blog post on the website twofatprofessors.com. The piece titled Diet Culture at the End of the World outlines Thune's opinion regarding weight gain during the COVID-19 crisis. Mm. To their credit, they will, they will, to a certain degree, survive longer than, say, like the soy boys because of the energy stored in their body. <laughs> yeah. But they're going to be out of, out, of, out of shape. They can't run. So, right. So when the critters, the, 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 the large beasts come hungry, they're going to find too plump, slow. But here's the good news. Can I, say, can I say a bad joke, an off-color joke? Yes. The good news is that you don't have to run f- faster than the bear. You just have to run faster than the two fat professors. Yeah. That's true. All I can think of is every zombie movie, there's always that big <laughs> big person. zombie. <laughs> yeah. Or the big person, and they're like, uh, well, the zombies will get that person, and they do. Okay, yes. here we go. They say- Every time. Thune wrote her piece, Diet Culture at the End of the World, in response to the many number of posts that have popped up on her social media sites addressing fears about weight gain. According to the professor, these posts shame viewers for not going to the gym, for eating too much, for getting fat, and for not starving ourselves at the end of the world, and are representative of a problematic diet culture. The blog post repeatedly refers to those who are cognizant of their weight as part of a diet culture. Thune criticizes those who speak out against weight gain and characterize it as dangerous, saying they feed into a system of fat phobia that oppresses and abuses so many. Oh, man. I quote, I think the author is portraying something that isn't an issue. Brandon Misich, a sophomore at UW Lacrosse and Campus Reform correspondent, told Campus Reform, you know why I take the biggest issue with these of all of the SJW weirdos? Please. It's a choice. Yep. Yeah. I was watching, uh, there's a commercial that airs on Fox all the time. And it's like, it's like, are you overweight and struggling? It may actually be due to a to a, a condition called insulin resistance. And if you take this medication or whatever, and I'm like, that just means you eat too much sugar. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's like, it's, there was, there was, there was, I watched this show. I can't remember what it was, but there was this woman who was really overweight. And all of these people kept saying that the reason they were overweight was because of genetics. Right. And they, and they were adamant they didn't even eat that much. And so they were, they were asked, like, how often do you eat? And they wrote down, like, for breakfast, I have this. For lunch, I have this. For dinner, I have this. Now, how often do they exercise? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Hold on. Go on. Go on. Yeah. In, the, in what they wrote down, they said, like, for breakfast, I have, you know, like, two eggs and, like, some toast and a bowl of oatmeal. For lunch, I have a sandwich. And for dinner, I have a small, light, you know, dinner. And so looking at it, they're like, see, it's only at 1,700 calories. It must be genetic. So they filmed them. Yeah. Yeah. And guess what? They ate all the time. Nonstop. <laughs> all day they were eating. Yep. They yeah. would be like, they, they would eat their breakfast, just yeah. like they said. Yep. And then like an, like half an hour later, they'd walk in the kitchen and grab like a bag of chips and start eating chips. Yep. And then they'd have lunch, like they said, and they would walk in the kitchen and, and, and grab some snacks and some cookies. Mm-hmm. And they were, they, so they were confronted <laughs> and the doctors were like, this is what you said you ate today. And they're like, right. And they're like, what about all of this? And they showed the videos and they're like, I was just snacking. Oh. And they were like, you <laughs> snacked like 2000 calories. Yeah. Like each of those cookies was like a hundred calories. Right. And they're like, oh, no way. The snacks have calories? I know. Who knew? <laughs> you know what, man? Oh, man. That's funny. Here, here, here's the, here, here, look, I'm, I'm, I'm all about freedom. <laughs> Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Sure. If you want to eat cookies all day, do it with my blessing. I do not care. But the people who want to call you an oppressor 
because you don't eat cookies all day right. or because you would tell someone I'm concerned about your health. These people are insane. So th there, there are like a, a going, there is going too far. For instance, Milo Yiannopoulos fat shamed a guy at the gym. Yeah, that's and I'm like, what? Why would you do that? <laughs> Dude's yeah. Yeah, at that's, the gym. He's actually working out, trying to better himself. Yeah, you should have taken yeah. a picture with him and been like, this guy's doing it right. Exactly. This guy's, nice. you know, he's doing, no, right. yeah. and whatever. And But then there's the inversion, which is she's claiming it's a weird diet culture, shaming people for not going to the gym. It's so weird. Go for a walk, man. Breathe some air outside. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it does really, wonders. What's really cool right now about the, the shutdown is the air is so clean. It's nice. Dude, I, we were looking outside in the backyard and we were like, whoa, look at all the stars. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa, could that be because like Philly has no smog right now? Yeah, maybe. So nice. Yeah. You can actually Probably. see stars. Yeah. Definitely. There's still light pollution, but it's like all clear. It is crazy the amount of stars that I can see outside. Yeah, it's awesome. Shall we, uh, shall we get to the conspiracy theory? Oh, yeah, let's go. Are you all ready for this? Wait till you see just how deep this this fat conspiracy goes. Oh, man. Now, <laughs> I don't even I, I don't even know if we, you know, said it was a conspiracy, but I'm just I'm just now it's <laughs> a conspiracy. I'm just put on a show, buddy. You just, I know, just you great. know, get, get the theatrics going. <laughs> it's great. Now, it. I myself enjoy a good pint of Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> Heck they, yeah. they, they've actually got an almond milk uh, version now. It's yep. it, it is vegan. And there is the delicious creamy, and there's, you know what the craziest one they have is? What? The core. You ever see the core Ben and Jerry's? Yeah. Absolutely don't, insane. Don't they have a social justice one too? It's disgusting. <laughs> Dude, we, yeah. we, we. Well, we, that's we, not really surprising though, is it? It was <laughs> spicy, <laughs> spicy brownies. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we, we got it and I'm like, I'll try spicy the. Spicy brownies. Like, I was like, I want to try the justice remix and I, and I ate it and I'm like, why is my ice cream spicy? So you think it's sweet. <laughs> But then when you try it, it's actually really fiery. And and, and you know what? It says <laughs> spicy on it. Right. Oh, funny, funny. But the, funny. The, this core one they have, it's liquid brownie batter in the middle. It's okay. just like liquid. Ooh. It's 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 like kind of frozen. Okay. But Stays yeah, there. it's yeah, like soft. it's like batter. Mm. So you're you're injecting sugar straight into your veins. Yes. Mm. Never have I encountered a dessert so insanely fattening. I'm not. I'm. You know what? I'm not that big of a sweet kind of a th person i don't i don't do sweets very often i like savory stuff more. well well but the conspiracy yeah sure we, 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 we you know we, we enjoy ben and jerry's but i we'll know you guys more. you guys were sitting there geeking out on <laughs> yeah, ice cream man. i figured right, i'd awesome. have some to say check us out <laughs> oh boy what do we what do we see okay oh, you can't yeah. really see it but you can see right here what does that say can you go over to the side ben and jerry's yeah. parent it says Unilever, Unilever, a British Dutch trans transnational consumer goods company. Hmm. They're the parent company for Ben and Jerry's. I wonder who else they're a parent now, company hold on. for. Hold on. Do you remember the Real Beauty campaign, which is one of the first campaigns about being proud to be fat? Oh, yeah. By Dove mm -hmm. Toiletries, yeah, Dove, the soap yeah. company. I Very do nice. remember that. Yeah. Now, who owns Dove? Oh, I, I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. Tell me, Timothy. Unilever. <gasps> what? Conspiracy dun, theory. Dun, dun, dun. Yep. The parent company knows that they've got a bunch of fat women who eat their ice cream, who feel bad when they use beautiful skinny models. So how do you keep them buying your soap and buying your ice cream? Real beauty campaign. Yep. Dove comes out, shows all these plus size models, and then sells them Ben and Jerry's. I know I'm, I'm kidding. I really don't think it's a conspiracy. I think Dove, you know what I think is really happening? Americans are just typically fat. Like 40% of Americans are overweight. Yeah. yeah. And so these bit, the, the reason why you're seeing fat superheroes, mostly women, like it's like really fat female superheroes, is because they're trying to cater to the people who are fat. Seems like it. So yeah. it's, it's, it's really this simple. If 10% of your population is fat, it's a small market share. And so people aren't going to market to them because it's, a, it's not a path towards a successful business. When 40% of your population are. Don't be surprised when these these you know these fat professors come out and start saying that like you're fat phobic and you're an oppressor. The reason why so many feminists are agreeing with it is because they're fat. They're fat and they want an excuse for why they don't have to be responsible for their weight. But but I'll, I'll make sure it's clear. I don't care if you want to eat pizza and ice cream all day and you get fat. I care that you're trying to claim I'm oppressing you by not doing that or by encouraging healthier living. Right. That's a problem. Yeah. Were you going to say something? Yeah, this made me really mad when I was losing weight because they were turning me into some kind of oppressor because I was actually <laughs> trying to lose weight and actually kind of succeeding at it slowly. It's a very slow process. It requires a lot of adjustment and it requires a lot of like going against the grain because 
all of these people will tell you you're being oppressed if you're trying to lose weight or worse yet you are oppressing other people i think it's really simple i think there simple, we, we used to have a culture of striving to be better yeah now we have now now we're a culture of participation trophies yeah no. striving to be mediocre yeah it's not just that it's like what they're saying is literally a participation trophy striving to be comfortable think think about what a participation trophy is just for showing up you get an award it's right. not it's not even just that it's it's like striving to be a victim you're trying to be the yeah. bottom of the totem yep. pole and then wow. you'll get you'll get the, all these points and the yep. sympathy and you really i mean you've overcome a lot or whatever or you've had a lot of stacked up against you what a weird pendulum swing so strange to me i agree remember when barack obama said the american dream is to be donald trump <laughs> i do yeah. remember that it was, it was he said that right i think he did a lot of rap rappers did i yeah. remember that let's see if you can look it up because because yeah, it might just check. be a meme that someone made yeah, up he's in there's a bunch of songs talking about trump yeah, rich man, I want to trump. Be like donald trump yeah yeah, yeah man it's did, did, did obama say it oh i don't know if obama said it but i have now heard it's it now it's like I, I listen it really is i mean not only is it a billionaire but he became, the, he became the president i know it's like like say whatever you want about the where guy, does but... he go from here yeah right. <laughs> so <laughs> to mars snopes is calling this a mixture oh which means oh. it's true oh i don't <laughs> yes. wait you actually use and trust snopes well it was the first thing that came up so i was like eh, Snopes. Eh, all right what, what do they say nope. snopes <laughs> nope are they gonna do the meme oh let's see thanks obama they're gonna say <laughs> mixture while wait. it is true he did say it the image that was used in the meme is not true they do start one of their sentences while which oh, makes me you think, really? yeah, the final sentence is, while some of these articles clarified Obama's meaning in the text, the headline claims presented were a mischaracterization of their argument. So he said it. Pretty sure he said it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. There you go, sure. Snopes. Whatever, yeah. man. He didn't say it while eating ice cream. Yeah, that's, okay. that's really the, that's the, that's the But what's, what's, the, what's the context they're trying to bring up, like? Obama was insulting Trump or something? As one example of this pragmatic approach, Obama suggested reframing the quest for rac racial equality as part of the American concept of equality and opportunity. What? I don't understand what they're trying to say. Snopes is just they're doing Snopes. They're writing poorly and I hate them so for we, it. So we, we, we get Snopes. He did say he it. He did definitely say All it. All right, there we go. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, you can be a, a, a rich guy like Trump and they hate him and they're the antithesis. Yeah. They they strive to be bad at everything. It's yeah. it's, it's incredible. And we, are proud of it, though. Yeah. That's well, the weird part. We it's used to have strange. superheroes Why that are were the so proud of being bad. I know. That's that's or fat. Well, they put it in their profile. It's not healthy. They're like, I'm disabled, and I'm I'm, I'm poor, and yep. I'm this, this, and this, and I'm on food stamps or whatever. And I'm like, what? What is there to be proud of here? What are you talking about? You know, it's, you know, it's funny though. I want your sympathy. So know. you, that's you, what I'm seeing. You had yeah. fascists in Europe that were like. Uber, Uber men, supremacist types that were like, everyone must be this perfect way. Now you have an inversion of that where they're like, we're all pathetic losers with brain problems and we're overweight and victims. And when you get a regular person saying like, I'm really sorry this happening, you know, um, perhaps you could try uh, exercise. Yeah, I, you it try helps. this. Yeah. And they call you a fascist now yep. because to them, you being a regular person advocating for healthier living and exercise is like the same distance from a regular person to the fascist. You know what I mean? Basically. Like they've pendulum swung so far to the direction. Yep. A regular person saying, would you like to go for a walk with us? How dare you? <laughs> you know I cannot walk more than to my car or anymore. My fridge. Yeah. Now they have rascals <laughs> at Walmart. Oof. Yeah. That's the craziest thing. We got we got these wheelchairs at Walmart so like your leg was broken. Right. Or you were old. We'll, we'll help you out. And now now every single time I've ever seen someone use it, it's a fat person. Yeah, it's true. Maybe maybe once I saw like an old guy using it, and I was like, "Word." Yeah. But 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 cool man. But but, mm -hmm. but but hold on. I get it. You know what? I I look. We, that was supposed to be for somebody who was you know disabled or whatever. Mm -hmm. I still really don't care if it's a fat person riding around that. Yeah, thing. that's true. I don't either. I'm it's, like, do you think there. whatever, man? If you can't right, walk and you need it, yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. That's what it's for. But but, but we these... should be allowed to say it's not healthy. Sure. It's not healthy. But this, and, and but even even that, it's like, I don't need to go around telling every fat person to lose weight. Did you take the presidential fitness test in school? No. What? Oh, That's maybe. So, so that was a thing when I was in school, when I was younger. You know, you'd take a physical fitness test and it was like the presidential standard. And, you, you know, you would be compared across every school in America. It was this thing, you know, back in the 90s. And uh, I don't know. I was, you know, they'd take your body mass, you know, the yeah. weight. What is oh, it? Yeah, they pinch your arm or whatever. BMI. BMI. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And it's like you would see how you rated, you know, if you were above or below average and whatnot. And it's like they stopped doing that. Yeah. Why? 
Why? Why did they stop doing that? Because we don't care about if our kids are healthy anymore? Like Participation yeah. trophy era, man. Yeah, I guess so. So these are people who think that they're being victims because they eat too much. Like, dude, no. That is the opposite of a problem. It's like, if you want to talk about racism... Dude, I'm down. I hear you, man. Yeah. There are some people who are just bigots. Definitely. You know, racism is a you big problem. You can't change your race. Yeah. There are things that you can't change and you don't deserve Well, them. there are some people. South Park did an episode about this. I'll avoid getting us in trouble on YouTube. But anyway. Don't get us in trouble. Sean King? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, he just claims it and then. I mean. But everybody hates that guy. <laughs> That's fair. You know what? There's, it's, it's called like thin privilege. Thin privilege. The funny thing is, they have There's this, all sorts of privileges. Right. Mm. They keep tacking on more. They don't know more. what the word means. Yeah, Thin right. privilege. I've never heard that one before. Yeah. Actually, I think what huh. these people are experiencing is fat privilege. I think you're right. So hmm. they can eat whatever they want, whenever they want. Yep. They're not responsible for their own health. They only have to buy one airplane seat. I don't get it. Yep. Know, they right? they want they want us to pay for their health care. <laughs> yes. Yep. And then they claim to be the victims. Talk about privilege. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, it, look, that's exactly what privilege looks like. Yeah. I'd love to sit around doing nothing but eat cheesecake all day. Actually, that's not true. It would not be under, It would not feel good. No, that doesn't sound good to me. You know, I can't. I think. I think one of the issues is with a lot with a lot of people who are overweight. Mm -hmm. I don't. I wonder if the if the problem is that they're trapped in an addiction an, an addiction cycle because eating too much doesn't feel good. But I, I will tell you, if I eat too much, I can't skate. Right. It's like, oh man, I can't move. Right. And then you end up not skating. So you have to like eat only a little, then you can skate, you get you feel real good, you get that, you know, you get a runner's high if you're running or whatever. You get the dopamine from accomplishing your goals. And then exercise actually suppresses your appetite. So you get trapped in the cycle where you're eating and it makes you feel bad and you don't wanna get up and move around and yep. then you just feel bad. So you eat more. Yeah. Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. If you want to catch the full show, tune in to this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, or check us out on iTunes and Spotify, and we will soon have this podcast up for free on all podcast platforms. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all in the next episode.